Hi, library friends and colleagues. I'm Stephanie Davis, the Manager of Group Purchasing at the Midwest Collaborative for Library Services, MCLS. Today's lightning talk will feature a discussion of MCLS and the Open Education Network. I'm pleased to announce that as of July 2021, MCLS is now a consortial member of OEN. In this short presentation today, I'll outline that partnership, describing who MCLS is, who OEN is, why MCLS and OEN, what the benefits are to MCLS members, and then I'll also highlight a current sponsorship opportunity for MCLS members interested in developing their own partnership with OEN. MCLS is a library member organization, as many of you know. We serve libraries in Indiana and Michigan. We have over 600 members, and that includes all library types, academic, K-12, public, and special. Our services are aimed at building better libraries, and we do this through consulting and training, group purchasing, MEL and MELCAT resource management, as well as a variety of special projects, including the Michigan Digital Preservation Network, the Michigan Shared Print Initiative, ReShare, and Wellbeing Literacy, an Indiana Grant Initiative Program. We do a lot more too, so if you want to know more about MCLS, I would encourage you to visit our website. It's listed on the screen, mcls.org. So who is OEN, the Open Education Network? They are a part of the University of Minnesota. They're a higher education entity dedicated to advancing open education in higher education. They started back in 2012 as the Open Textbook Library, OTL. It was a highly successful endeavor and eventually grew and expanded and would become the broader Open Education Network in 2020. They are a community dedicated to making higher education more affordable, equitable, and accessible. They support institutional efforts to advance open educational resources by providing programmatic support, financial support, and collective support. OEN truly is a community. It's a group of individuals who have come together to work together to support one another to advance open educational resources on campuses throughout the country. You can visit OEN's website to learn more, and it's listed on the screen as well. OEN does some really unique things to help institutions and libraries advance OEN. They don't do the work for institutions, but they empower institutions to do the work. They have a training the trainer model and they provide workshops, faculty engagement opportunities, uh, access to different products, toolkits, templates, a variety of different resources that help libraries and institutions work to develop and implement OEN and OER on their campuses. One of the neat features of OEN is faculty engagement. And they have a, a process where faculty review OER textbooks, and then those reviews are made available through the Open Textbook Network. And this allows faculty to have the opportunity to really look at OER textbooks, make an assessment of them, and then share that um, with the broader community. OEN also helps institutions in the development of the textbooks themselves through access to press books. As I said, there's a lot more about what OEN does and you can find out at their website. So why was MCLS interested in becoming a consortial member of OEN? What are the benefits for MCLS libraries? Well, connecting with OEN really fits with our mission of supporting libraries, specifically supporting libraries as they grow and develop it develop OER initiatives on their campus. MCLS has long supported collection development at libraries across the two states, Michigan and Indiana, by providing discounted pricing for subscriptions to eBooks, e-journals, et cetera. As the world moves more toward open, MCLS wants to help libraries in that process. So the relationship with OEN gives us the opportunity to do that for our members. So I'm going to take a few minutes and explain how this consortial membership works. There are really two different tracks of the consortial membership. The first is 
any MCLS academic member has access to OEN resources and services through the MCLS OEN consortial membership. In this particular model, the first model, MCLS serves as the connector and coordinator between the libraries and OEN. Services include things like access to the open textbook library reviews, access to OEN-led trainings and workshops on developing and implementing OER, participation in the OEN community of practice and community hub, participation in the OEN summit and the OEN publishing cooperative, as well as an opportunity to utilize the OEN Pressbook Sandbook. This is all coordinated through MCLS. And while it is open to all MCLS academic members, there are some limitations on the number who can do specific um, aspects of the benefits. For example, you see on the screen here under a couple of the services, it says select. So in those instances, not every member can participate, only a select number. But the benefits are huge. And it's a way for libraries to, um, without any cost to them, find out more about OEN and utilize the resources of OEN to help build open access on their campuses. The other option for MCLS libraries because of our consortial membership with OEN is for individual libraries to become OEN allied members. Now, currently, any institution can become an independent OEN allied member. Um, there is a cost for that. And if you are connected with a consortial member like MCLS, you get a reduced rate for that allied membership. And you can see it listed on the screen there. It's $1,575 a year for any um, institution to join. If you're connected with a consortial member, the cost is $525. So it is a fairly substantial discount. And this would apply to new as well as existing members. So if your library currently belongs to OEN, when it comes time to renew, if you are an MCLS member, you can get that reduced rate. And then of course, any new MCLS member that wants to join OEN as an allied member gets that $525 yearly cost. With this membership model, allied members work directly with OEN. Do you remember I shared previously in the other model, MCLS serves as the connector. But in this model, uh, members work directly with OEN and many of the same services, but an expanded um, set of services are available to uh, direct OEN allied members. Um, and I won't list them again. I went through them before, but um, as you can see, it's many of those same ones, plus a few more. So two models, one work through MCLS at no cost, two become an allied member at $525 and work directly with OEN. That's kind of the crux of it. Um, to encourage members to consider allied membership, MCLS is offering a sponsorship opportunity right now. So we are going to support 10 MCLS academic libraries who want to become an allied member in OEN, five libraries in Indiana and five in Michigan. MCLS will cover 50% of the allied membership cost for two years and the libraries will pick up the other 50%. There's an application for this um, sponsorship and it's found on the MCLS website. I have a screenshot here that shows our website and indicates that if you go to engagement on our website, that tab, you will see a link for Open Education Network. There are some other opportunities to learn more. Um, again, I've listed the OEN website for you the MCLS webpage for the OEN consortial membership and partnership where you can find out about the sponsorship opportunity. And then we will be having some informational webinars over the next uh, couple of weeks, one in August and one in September, August 18th from noon to one Eastern Standard Time, 11 to noon Central, and then another on September 8th from two to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1 to 2 p.m. Central. The webinars are a great way to learn more about our partnership, more about OEN, as we'll have MCLS staff and OEN staff at the informational webinars. So if you have any interest in this, I really encourage you to uh, attend those webinars, one of those webinars. 
Also, of course, you can reach out to MCLS directly. I have our services email listed there as well as my email. We'd be glad to answer any questions that you have. We are very excited about this partnership. We believe it's going to benefit our members and enhance their opportunities to grow open access, specifically open educational resources on their campus. I thank you for taking time to listen today and wish you a great rest of the Network Summit.